hello and blessings beautiful souls sarava and ashe to you how are you it was the most spectacular misty morning this morning as i'm sure you saw through my b-roll i came outside and i was like wow what a wonderland and so i'm feeling extraordinarily inspired this morning thanks to the grandeur of the mist and i just wanted to show you it's about an hour after i took that footage and the mist has pretty much all cleared and the sun is starting to make its ascent over the tree line over there and so today is monday here in my little neck of the woods and monday is traditionally my reading day so i am going to be smashing out client readings today like never before <laughs> at least that's the aim for the for the day and then i'm going to uh involve you in a little something extra so i'm going to fire up my imac and jump on the book club and talk a little bit about some very interesting things that i was left to ponder uh, thanks to this book here which is weed the liminal and that's what we're going to do right now I am having a world of trouble with this fountain pen. This is a Lamy and it keeps, the nib keeps drying. So if any of you fountain pen aficionados know a cure or a remedy to this issue, then please do let me know. And if it involves rinsing the nib on a regular, then I've already done that. One of the charming aspects of this cottage is that it locks from the outside. So my husband just came up to look for something and I'm locked in. And as we know, my husband doesn't have a phone at the moment. And uh, yeah, so I've just had to make a call <laughs> to be rescued. <laughs> okay, so I've just finished the live hangout, which went for about 20 minutes this time around because I had a lot to say apparently on the subject. Um, very, very interesting book so far that we've the liminal. Uh, and I will we'll leave the link to uh, my Patreon book club business down below, just in case you're interested in joining. Uh, it's a really, really nice place to be if you love books and are learning the craft. Anyway, yesterday's video, I made an incense. I showed you how I make my witchy healing incense. That's because I injured my back. I don't want to talk about it, but it came down to me just Oh, it was the compost toilet again. So I made this incense and here it is. It's, it, it's now two days later because I didn't vlog yesterday. Alyssa don't think so. No, it's two days later. My point is it is sitting here still as I left it. That's how it is. That's how I left it. It's sitting here still. Why? And that is because that is my process. I would leave that there for days and days. If I had no other business on this altar, it would stay there for as long as I needed to reutilize that altar or reutilize the, or utilize, not reutilize, but utilize the incense. And so my point is, how long do I leave it there? I leave it there for as long as I can and am willing to leave it there. There you have it.
asking, why would I make a healing incense and then not use it straight away if I'm injured? Well, it's almost like the doctrine of correspondence. Because I was injured, I had a deep and unrelenting need to feel better. Making an incense or crafting magic in that mind space is powerful, people. It is powerful. And so when I made that healing incense, I knew that I might not get to use it straight away. But making it in that headspace means that I can use it in the future whenever I want and need that amount of healing. That's got a kick to it, folks. That's got a solid kick to it. <music>
for those of us who uh, require it, just a scouch more. So with all of that said and done, this was vlog number 32. Can you believe that? I have been vlogging for an entire calendar month. And not just a 30 day month or a 28 day month for that matter, a 31 day calendar month. I have been vlogging for that long. And this is vlog number 32. And I'm like, well, when will I stop? <laughs> Hopefully with your encouragement, with your enthusiasm, with your support and just, you know, your beautiful friendship, I keep going. So do remember to give this one a thumbs up. Do remember to comment because all of those beautiful acknowledgements, they power me up. They really make me enthusiastic to create more and to keep on going. So you guys give me strength in my creation and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. The crows thank you from the bottom of their heart. And with all of that said and done, I'm wishing you so much love, luck, peace and joy. And if you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so much. Bye!